Hi, I'm David Soper. I'm one of the technical marketing engineers supporting Cisco UCS. Today I'll be giving an overview of Cisco UCS Starship for cloud-based management of UCS devices. The UCS Starship services are hosted at ucs-starship.com. So I'll begin by navigating there and signing in with my cisco.com account ID. Once I've logged into Starship, I can either navigate to an existing account with the I have an account button, or I can create an account. Here we'll walk through the steps to create an account. First I accept the license agreement, click next. During this process we can see that online help is available and as we navigate through the menus we will get help screens telling us what fields we're filling in and what steps to perform next. This is a key part of all Starship and we will see it again as we actually navigate Starship in a minute. So the device I will be claiming is a Hyperflex cluster. And information I will need includes the device ID, which is the cluster ID or serial number for my Hyperflex cluster. And to get that information I will log in to my Hyperflex Connect user interface. And once I'm logged into Hyperflex Connect, I will navigate to Settings and Cloud Management Preview Menus. The authorization required here for Tech Preview is the Controller VM root account and root password. So I will enter the Controller VM username of root and the root password for my controller VM. So in this menu for any help needed I can click details and recommendations. To begin with I see that Starship management is off and the help menu is telling me to turn that on. Once I've enabled that the device connector within Hyperflex attempts to connect to the Starship service it is unable to connect in this example and I see that I need to verify a few things with public internet access including connections enabled to UCS-Starship.com. For this lab setup I do need a proxy enabled as my physical Hyperflex device is behind a proxy so I will enter that information now and once I've entered my proxy address and port I will reattempt my connection. On this screen we see that we successfully have a security code which means that the device connector is talking to the Starship service. With that available I can now pull my serial number for this Hyperflex instance and enter that as my device ID. And I will go on to enter the claim code that was available from my Hyperflex Connect instance. Optionally I can enter tags to identify this device within Starship. These tags are purely for Starship's use and do not impact anything on the device itself. With that completed, I have successfully claimed the device within Starship. My account has been created and I'm given a URL where the account ID, the first 16 digits of the URL shown there, is my unique account ID for Starship. So once I'm beamed up into Starship, the first thing I will see is the online help menus. And that gives me the ability to take a site tour of Starship. So we'll start walking through this site tour to see what sort of things are available within the Starship service. And each of these basically contains menus that allow me to walk through. So I will click to open the menu. And I see that I open on the dashboard, which contains summary information. Can also view server information, Hyperflex cluster information, and fabric interconnect information for UCS manager domains. 
devices connected directly or on the devices menu. Faults and alarms are available and there's a powerful search function that I will demonstrate in just a moment. Settings is also where I can add users. Online help, exactly what I'm walking through is always available on the question mark icon and account information is the final one in the upper right. A key part of any feedback provided here is on the last screen where a email alias ucs-starship-feedback at cisco.com is where users can provide any and all feedback or get help with troubleshooting issues. With the site tour complete, I'll walk through the process of adding a user to my account. Users can be added to my account to see the devices that I have under control, and if they're given administrator privileges, they can even claim other devices and perform some administrator activities. For this example, I will add one additional user. Users are identified by their Cisco ID, and I will give him a read-only role, which will give him read-only access and not allow administrator rights into this account. I walked user account creation directly, but you can also at any time use the help icon to see a guided overview of that. User creation is available and also, also the ability to claim additional devices is available as a guided walkthrough. In the guided walkthrough of claiming a new device, I navigate to the devices menu and then I click the claim new device button. And just like my initial account creation, this guided overview would walk me through the steps needed to claim a device. I won't do that in this case and instead we'll switch out to show one last piece of functionality which is the search functionality. The search icon at the top allows you to search for identifiers, tags, etc. for devices in your account and here I'll just search for Hyperflex and highlight one of the alarms in my current Hyperflex cluster and I can quickly navigate to the summary of that alarm. That concludes this demo of the Cisco UCS Starship service for cloud-based management of Cisco UCS devices. We hope to see you soon on the Starship service. For more information, please visit the following websites. Thank you.